May 3rd, 2007. Shedletsky. A hairy problem. Here's a sneak peek at something we're working on right now. It probably won't be done in time for the next release, but people have asked for a great degree of character customization, and so that's one of the things on our shortlist. Making hair look good on blocky characters is hard, especially when you want the characters to also wear hats. There's a lot we could do here, with enough time, 3D math, and artistic skill. Eric looking dapper in a top hat. Incidentally, top hats are among the easiest headwear to model. Telemon. Now, today, Telemon is known as Shletsky, and this blog post by Roblox would be the first time we'd ever see a sneak peek at hats. You can see right here the round studs, round studs, oh my god. And you can see that hideous hair on Sapha, but you know what, it's fine. You see the dude with the top hat with no texture, nice big old shadow on him, these old graphics. That's how it goes. May 8th, 2007, Shedletsky. More character visuals. My work on the Roblox character continues. As everyone saw in my last post, Lick looking mesh hair sitting on top of our blocky Roblox character created a rather freaky looking monster. No one on the team thought it was okay to turn our Robloxians into hideous Frankenstein amalgams. So the scope of my project has been expanded. The status of the character changes is deep alpha, meaning we're working on it every day, but we have no idea when they will be released. It probably won't be Monday, in part because we are also working on several other unrevealed but very exciting features. Then you see a prototype for what the future of Roblox might look like. Now this looks weird, and this is what the person thought the future of Roblox would look like in 2007. Now, this isn't quite what Arthro would become, but if Arthro looked like this, I think I would hate it a lot more, I don't know. Pretty weird stuff. May 23rd, 2007, Shedletsky. Sneak peek, hats, and now we have a video. So as you can see, there's a little red baseball cap, there's the blue baseball cap, got a purple banded top hat, got the sombrero right there, got a viking helmet and a police hat. Those are the hats we're going to be looking at today, and I'll be telling you a few stories about. As you can see back then you could actually take off your hats by pressing the equals keyboard. You can't do that anymore, because people will always lag up the servers, dropping thousands of hats and crashing people's games. But really, it was nice when you could be able to take off your hats. Oh well. Look at him just smiling, with his yellow skin. Who knew that Roblox teams would eventually look like this? So now that we know a little background on how hats came to be, let's start looking at the oldest hats on Roblox. First of all, on May 31st, 2007, Shiletsky posted some stats about the hats. And at this time, there were only 10 hats out. They had the red baseball cap, the blue baseball cap, the question mark, the green baseball cap, the police cap, the viking helm, the sombrero, the classic fedora, the pirate hat, and the purple banded top hat. Now, the reason why I know this is the purple banded top hat is because I was actually around back then to see this all this stuff come out. I joined on April 18th, 2007. And so, we're going to be taking a look at these 10 hats to find out which one is the oldest. And the way we're going to do this is look at the ID of the hat. And if you don't know what an item ID is, well, let me t help you out here. So, I have a game called Stock Market Simulator, and it's really good, and I strongly recommend you play it. So, I created this game on July 9th, 2017. The ID is 908 million. So, essentially, this is the 908 millionth item to be created on Roblox. That includes games, hats, shirts, pants, all that stuff. Now, I have another game called Neon Rainbow Obby, which I made in a video, and you can click on that in the top right corner right now. Now, the, I made this one later, on March 3rd, 2018, meaning it'll have a higher ID, which is 1.4 billion, 500 million items later. So essentially, the ID is like how old it is. The lower the ID, the older the item is. So we're going to be taking a look at all 10 of these hats, and whichever one has the lowest ID is the oldest hat on Roblox. So I have my list right here. I'm gonna keep that on my other monitor. And now we're gonna dig deep. Okay, I've gathered my list together. 
We have the red baseball cap, the blue baseball cap, the question mark, the green baseball cap, the police cap, the Viking helmet, the sombrero, the classic fedora, the pirate hat, and the purple banded top hat. All of these IDs are really similar, so they all came out around the same time. But if we were to look at which one has the lowest ID, the first hat, the oldest hat on Roblox, is the red baseball cap. So let's look at some stuff about the red baseball cap. First of all, it's a limited, and it's not worth that much, but that's because there was over 123,000 of these babies sold. Like for example, I could just buy one right now. Bam. This hat isn't worn out. It's well loved. Colored a bombastic red with a stylish looking R that leaves no doubt which game you're playing. You can see me saucing it right through my bowler. Looks real nice. So you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna mess around with it. I'm gonna make an outfit with it. Uh, I got the hat on. First of all, I'm gonna wear the red glowing eyes with it because it matches the hat. I'm gonna wear some red antennas with it because that kind of looks cool um, in my opinion. So I'm gonna equip the epic redness sword. Now I really like this sword. I like it so much. In fact, I have a video with a oof remix before the meme even existed. You can watch that by clicking on the top right corner. That's a classic Roblox for Shinema. Okay, so I got the outfit now. And as you can see, I'm looking real nice. I've got the little red suit on, got them red J's, got my epic redness sword, got some headphones on. I'm about to, I'm about to just play a classic game in my classic outfit so I can flex the oldest hat on Roblox ever. All right, let's do it. All right, you see me, Fave, got my red baseball cap on, and we're going to be playing a Roblox game from 2006. Yep, that's right broken tools, no animations, none of that stuff. And we're gonna be looking, doing a deep, oh, there are animations. <laughs> we're gonna be looking deep, 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 deep into this game, okay? So let's start off with this spawn. A beautifully, magnificently crafted spawn with the swirl that you think is a hurricane coming into your game. But no, it is just a spawn. You come over here, you see a, you see a walk away. Now this is amazing, we've entered a new dimension. A new country, a new race I am. Now I am an illegal immigrant of Mustafar. Kinda sounds like a Ligma joke, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump. Ow, my legs. It's fine, I'll be fine. You have other spawns here, but they're not important, okay? So we come over here, we hop up, and we hop up, and then we hop up again, and then I go up. So we walk in here. This is a little dungeon, bro. This is where you take the children when they're misbehaving. You throw them in here and then you just leave them there and you just never talk to them again and let them starve. Goodbye. As you can see, you have a big lava waterfall pouring into a bunch of lava. The floor is lava! Uh. Oh. Uh oh. Oops. Okay, well, that oof meant nothing. We have to get to the end of this map, okay? I didn't mean to die. It was an accident. Um, there's a lot of accidents that happen in our lives, though, so be fair. Let's walk across this bridge without dying. And now we're over here. We're in another dimension now. So the blue door represents the divide between the real and the fake. And now we're in a fake universe. Some Mandela effect stuff, okay? This, there's more dead children hiding in these bushes or whatever that is. And we're going to go ahead and walk through here and find out what's over here. The mystery. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Death. Okay. Over here, you have a little... This... What is this? A secret compartment? What am I going to find? What am I going to discover? I come over here, and now I'm at the top. Top of my game. We're at the top of the game. Are we at the top, though? I'm not sure. Let's zoom out a little bit. Alright, I don't understand this, this pool of lava here. Shouldn't it fall down into oblivion? How is it just floating there? That's strange. I want to touch it. Um... Game? You want to let me jump? There we go. Well, looks like we're gonna have to trek across. Oh, that worked. I didn't think that would. I wonder if there's anything in this waterfall. Because anyone who's ever played a video game before knows that people love to hide things in waterfalls. Oh, it's just death. Well, I might as well death this video. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Or, or you don't have to. But, but you should. Unless you thought it was garbage, then don't. But, um, you know, kind of like this new style of videos that I've been doing. We looked at the oldest Roblox hats. If you guys want me to discover anything else on Roblox, let me know. I'll be chilling, you know? Roblox fave. Out.